truck, truck, bear, 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 truck, 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 bear, 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 truck, 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 bear, 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 truck, 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 bear, 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 truck. If you're gonna borrow your daddy's truck, you better make sure he fills it up. You just gotta sing truck, bear, truck. Well, uh, that was pretty badass right there. Old Justin Chambers with his uh, truck, truck, beer, 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 truck. Can't get enough of that. Uh, all right, we're uh, we're we're still in our break here. I just figured I'd uh, come back and say hi and let everybody know we are back live. Uh, everybody took off on break. Uh, you know, use the bathroom, check on the green room. We do have the still house shakers still here uh, in the studio tonight. I don't know if they're going to join us again or not. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what they're up to. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, play a little bit more of a slingshot robot uh these guys are pretty cool we're gonna have them on next week and i'm pretty excited about that i uh, just want to kind of give you guys a taste of their music and um like i said before if you uh want to chat us up or tweet let us know what you like what you don't like we're always up for some feedback um and all that other other good stuff I see we've got uh, quite a bit of listeners tonight, which is really cool. I'm really excited about that. I like when people communicate with us and talk and add to the show. We always want, uh, you know, suggestions and, um, uh, you know, feedback and, and comments and whatnot. A lot of you guys are really funny, and uh, we have a good time. You know, that's what we do here. It's a comedy show. We try not to get too serious, especially in the third hour. By the third hour, Homeless Chuck is usually half in the bag. Uh, especially Jay. He starts out drinking coffee, and then he has a couple of vodka cranberries and Pops and uh, myself are usually the uh, ones that hold it all together in the third hour. Uh, although Pops, uh, he's getting a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of crap with me tonight. I don't know what that's all about. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to play a little bit more of Slingshot Robot. Uh, here we go. This one's called uh, Save Me. I hope you enjoy it.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Slingshot Robot with the song Save Me. That was actually pretty badass, man. That was a good song. That's the first time I've heard that song. I've been listening to these guys for a little bit here, and uh, they are local to us here, right right here in, in Newport Ritchie, Pasco County, Florida. So that's pretty badass. Got to like that. Oh, yeah. I hope to see you. Do you think it's the guys that are across soon. the street that are playing all the time? Maybe actually they're right across the street. <laughs> I think that's TV. They have that TV really loud across the street, dude. It's a much different sound, bro. I'd say I'd give Slingshot Robot a little bit more credit, dude. I think they sound a little bit better than that. But yeah, that's pretty cool, well, man. They nailed that song, Moving On Up. Oh, maybe that's right. That is a TV. <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> Speaking of dicks, Camden Pugh in the house from the Still House Shakers. Hello, What's Camden, up, dude? How are you? How do you know? You're going to sit in and hang out with us? Yeah, I'm going to listen. Cool, all right. I'm going to lay here, I might take a nap. Somebody was calling you a dick earlier, and I told him to stop. I'm like, he's not a dick. That guy's cool as shit. He's got pipes, he can sing, he can play. He's really cool, man. Why are you calling him a dick? It was one of our callers. I don't know, that guy's an asshole, so I told him not to listen anymore. You know, if you don't like our show, don't listen. That was me. That was me, Kevin. Was that you? I don't know, man. I was saying that about Camden. I've been drinking the the Kool-Aid, so I don't know. No, I love those guys. But I want to I want to say Jim something. Jim Jones flavored. You've been taking Kool Aid. Dick flavored. You're gonna die. I want to say something to people. I want to say that. Listen, man. I want our fans to call in. I want somebody else to come do a podcast with us. I want to fill a radio show. So if anybody's out there listening right now, and you have some friends, we got the studio. You come by here, use our equipment. We'll help you produce it and whatever else. Well, let's slow down with that a little bit, man. I mean, what? Why? Studio rental? Because I'm a you know I'm a really shy guy, dude. I don't like to talk to strangers. You know what I mean? I'm just like I don't know, I'm a very quiet creepy. person, man. Yeah, you are yeah. creepy. Right. I you know a- you know the best way to get rid of a stranger? <laughs> Sleep with him. Make him a friend. Oh, Pops, that's heartwarming. You know what Chuck knows about strangers? You sit on your hand until it goes numb, <laughs> then you got a stranger. A Dutch rudder. I haven't done that in a while. Jay, would you care to explain what a Dutch rudder is for everybody? Yeah, absolutely. That's where, um, no, I don't want to explain this. <laughs> Why not? Okay, that's where, that's where Chuck t- takes Jay's right hand in Chuck's right and in and, and Chuck's left hand, and you grab Jay's hand and you put it around your, your junk, your Charlie, yeah. right? And then you work his hand up and down, right? And then he takes his other free hand and grabs your other free hand and puts it around his junk. Uh, and then disgusting. he works your arm, and that's a Dutch rudder. You both kind of just help each other out, you know? But there's nothing gay about that because you're not even touching him. You know what I mean? You're not, I mean, yeah, right? Did I do that right? I don't know. Yeah, I think you pretty much got it. Okay. Yeah, I think you get the gist you of what I'm trying to say. You probably got a scout badge yeah. for that back in the day. <laughs> I gotta take pops to the VA if anybody wants to go skiing. You know. Yeah. Sure. Skiing. <clears throat> Kevin, would you like to explain skiing? Yeah, that's when you have a bench seat in your vehicle or a comfortable center console that's padded that you can sit on, and your third passenger sits in the middle. And uh, like he's working some ski poles, he just sits there and yeah. you know yeah. goes ski. What? Disgusting. What's gay about that? There's nothing gay about that, dude. As long as your eyes are forward, you're watching the traffic. Yeah. <laughs> Jay calls that driving stick. No, really, people. I think that we should uh, give some homage to one of our supporters tonight. Who supports us? I don't know about that, man. Harley and Hops. <laughs> Maybe not at this point, but, um, you know. Fermented grains? <laughs> hey, man. You guys you guys were really serious that you didn't have anything to talk about. We have about. nothing to talk about. Well, let me tell you something. I got rid of my planner's warts. If, if, if you want to hear a true story. I, I dated this girl. She was a good friend of my sister. My sisters were twins, and they were four years younger than me. And they had this girl. Her name was... Uh, Carol. That's enough information for that. But uh, I Burnett. was kind of between the devil and the deep blue sea because her dad, I think he was hooked up with the mafia. He, he used to have uh, coin operated machines all over, and most of back then that was pretty much the mafia. So I was afraid of him, and I respected her. And I found out years later from a real good buddy of mine that after I never did anything with her other than maybe uh, uh, some passionate kisses that 
he took her out later and her mother had trained her. I didn't know this, but she used to give handies? Put, put her hand on his <laughs> and, and stroke him off like you guys seem to like have a half happened to you. <laughs> but anyhow, but first of all, before she'd do that, he had to put his finger on her clit and get her off. Oh my God, Pops, you had to say that, that word, man? <laughs> Seriously? Uh, you guys don't know what that is, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anyhow, he, 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 he'd get her off. He'd get her off, and then she'd get him off. And I thought, you son of a gun, you should have told me that before I started dating her. But anyhow, <laughs> anyhow, 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 uh, uh, that's been a frustration of mine when I found that out ever since, because I would have liked to try that. But I, 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 I thought that was a good idea, and I remember one night I was at a bar, and I was, this girl was worried about her daughter who was starting to date, and I told her, well, you know what you had to have your daughter do? Have her pull that same thing. You know, what do you mean? I said, well, have her get her thing off, and then have her get the guy off with her hand. She says, that'll keep her from ever getting pregnant. She said, I'm not going to teach my daughter that. <laughs> wow, I, I don't even know where to go after that. That's just you, you gross me out on like three different levels. Bob. I'm, so trying, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get you guys motivated so you come up with something worthwhile for our listeners. <laughs> <audience. laughs> yeah, but that's great content. That's compelling radio, boss. Thank you. I appreciate that. Wow, well, I'm a little sicker than I felt earlier. You know? Oh my god. <laughs> You guys, you guys just can't handle true stories. <laughs> I know, I, I can handle true stories, but when an 82-year-old man looking right in my eyes says the word clit, I get a little, you know, <laughs> just creeps me out a little bit. Why is well, that? Well, it's always hand gestures. Why, why? What do you think an 82-year-old man uh, started out as? <laughs> well, let me a tell you. A 13-year-old horny kid. Uh, when, my, oh, 13, when my first girlfriend got rid of her braces... Oh, come on, can we get off the subject, dude? <laughs> Seriously, my mom's listening, dude. She might be. I don't Sorry, Miss Kelly. Oh, my God. Believe dude. it or not, I lost my virginity to a woman named Brenda Cox. Oh, <laughs> that, was, that wasn't a woman, Chuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> what was her dog's name? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Big and black. Well, I, I, was just, I was just wondering that. You know, he was talking about how you can uh, find out what well, you're... Well, Camden. Let's ask Camden. Camden will play the game. Camden, what's your mother's maiden name? Last name. Maiden name. Fullwood. Fullwood. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> okay. Fullwood. And what was your pet's first name? I don't know. I don't remember. Just name one remember. of your first... Well, what's, 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 the, what's, what's the youngest or oldest pet you can remember? Name. Uh, let's see. What What was the one? I don't know. It wasn't there. What was uh, the one? Uh, think, think it was. Uh, uh, He's thinking wow. hard. Hey, right. Candace, we'll, we'll get back, back to you on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just think real hard about that. Yeah. Uh, just, I think this would be a great time for a public announcement, Candace. What, what is it that you drink that we want to tell the kids not to? <laughs> I haven't drank anything tonight. Okay. All right, Camden doesn't have a mic, so let's just get off Camden, and Camden will get off you. You know, something like that. I don't know. Whatever. If you guys want to get on each other later, Chuck. Yeah, and do that on your own time, man. we got a show to do here. Well, you're going to need to tell me about the Dutch rudder thing again. So. No, no, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and steer the ship in a different direction one more time here. With the rudders. Yeah, with the rudders, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I don't... Uh, yeah, so... Uh, what else has been going on? Jay, Weather's freezing here. Jay, can you please just pull something out of your hat right now to... to all right, well, save the sinking ship because uh, between Pops and Chuck right now, I'm I'm, I'm miserable over here, dude. <laughs> absolutely. I'll, I will tell you that um, my girlfriend just left me.